And let's head quickly to the Ashanti region, where traditional, um, traditional authorities there Traditional authorities there are accusing successive governments uh, of sacrificing the region's development on the altar of politics. They're vowing to spearhead vigorous campaigns to reverse the trend in 2020. Bantamahene Bafo Ousu Amankwetia the sixth, who is also war marshal of Asantehene, laments what he says is total breakdown of law in Kumasi. Ohim Interior has more. Sanitation remains one of the challenges facing Kumasi as hawkers take over the streets amid human and vehicular congestion in the city centre. Metal and wooden structures have also sprung up on pavements and other unauthorized places. Repeated attempts by city authorities to decongest the central business district have proved unsuccessful over the years. Therefore, Uso Mankwetia blames the situation on relegation of chiefs in city management. He also cites lack of political will by government to enforce the law for fear of losing elections. We are being besieged by Phil. And then the fact that when you come to Kwanzaa, for instance, every pavement is, <clears throat> has become you know, a shopping place. Everybody is shopping on the, uh, is selling on the pavement. You go to the markets, the markets are in, empty. And then you ask yourself that, where on earth that we have markets and that the traders are not prepared to go to the market, but they are, prepared, they are only prepared to sell on the pavement. We have engaged the authorities in Kumasi that the only way that this thing can be solved is that they must, uh, there, there must be some element of force, you know, to ensure that people, you know, um, go by the bylaws and laws of this country. We have sat down with the authorities, we have engaged them very, very well, and any time we see that they, 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 they really are not prepared to do what um, Put things right because when you come to Kumasi, when they go to the market or when they go anywhere and they're trying to put things, they tell them that next election we will not vote for you. So, because of that, you know, they stop whatever they are doing and they go back to their offices and their barracks and whatever. We are saying that Kumasi belongs to us, so if they can't handle things like that. We, the chiefs, we want them to give it to us. We want them to pave the way for us. According to Bant Mahine, the Ashanti Regional House of Chiefs, led by the Ashanti Hine, has already engaged political leadership over the matter. He says Nananum will now assume full charge to push for development in the region. There's a serious reverence for Otunfo Osetu II, the second Ashanti Hine. I don't think that <clears throat> anybody can tell Kumasi, any authority, whoever you are, can tell the people of Kumasi to go to sleep. But Otunfo can tell us to go to sleep and we all go to sleep. If the politicians are failing in this regard, I think that the chiefs can fill the void. I believe that if we go out there and we call our people and we talk to them. They will do the right thing. From Kumasi for Joy News, I'm Interview reporting. That's for watching The Pulse with me, Gifty and Doppi. I will take a very quick break. We'll be right back. Do stay with us. In the meantime, let me remind you, the Electoral Commission is holding a press conference uh, at its headquarters. We're monitoring that press conference, uh, which is currently underway, to bring you details of what's happening there. Do stay with us. We'll be back. <laughs>